There is no intro today. We are just going to jump straight into it. I'm Ian Parallax bringing you episode two from my New Beginning series, and it is server 412. And what we have today is a ton of content, but all of it mainly focuses around my five star collection and grind. So I'm trying to get more five star heroes, I'm trying to get those five star heroes leveled. So we have everything, as you can see, we're going through. And I am basically have event progress to make, campaign, all that good stuff. So I'm going to bring all of that to you right here, right now, kind of like a mini stream for everyone. We're just going to go through and get as much done as we can. So right now I'm really just checking that there's no creations. There isn't anything for me to go back and maybe create a five star. As you can see, don't have too many profit orbs. Um, my gear is okay, so what I'm going to do is go through, just clear out my bag, see if there's a, this, having these few five or four star heroes, excuse me, will help me get uh, at least one more hero to go. I was hoping, I'm hoping to get a profit orb out of this. Um, I'm attacking the pumpkin lord, uh, hoping to get a profit orb, some gold and some gems. I just get skin shards, which I love skin shards, but at this point, I would rather have a profit orb. Uh, maybe if I get enough, I would definitely love to get that 6,000 gem uh, pack. Get an elite five-star hero, some profit orbs, all that good stuff. So, But I hope your guys' this week is going well. I have a ton to go over on my server 412, and you guys just wait for my... Uh, I have a video for you guys for server 3. We made some epic, epic progress, which I hope we'll be showing you guys tomorrow. And, not, not to mention, I will be doing a live stream on Wednesday. I'm pretty sure it will be 4.30 um, to probably 8 uh, p.m. Central Standard Time. And we are going to just go through all my accounts um, get as much done as we can. Most likely I'll spend a good bit of time on my server 15 account. I'm going to kind of hold off, make a, another video for you guys tomorrow and save everything. Um, the stream for my server 15 account mainly. But I've, I'm going to put a link in uh, the description and um, hopefully link some of the live streams at the end of this video. Just going over... Uh, I'm going to basically update my, uh, instead of doing a new video every time I'm doing a stream, I felt that kind of got repetitive. So if you guys are interested, I'm going to put um, my next stream time, I'm going to update kind of that stream page. Uh, and I'll have that all linked for those that are interested. I remember this Wednesday, at least 4.30 to 8 uh, p.m. Central Standard Time, right when I get home from work basically. It might be five, hopefully it's a good week and I don't have to stay too late. Um, but yeah, so get hyped. We're going to have a whole lot of fun on that stream. So what I'm doing now is if you could see, I'm going through my gear and I'm basically reorganizing, redistributing, um, seeing, cleaning out basically. Gear is, especially when I can start getting those uh, set bonuses, It I really like putting a good bit of money into gear so it is a little bit of a little bit expensive and I've been donating as a decent bit um, to my guild so hopefully um, I don't run out of gold I'm not really close to that but we're kind of right in the line it's not like my main accounts where I'm I'm, I'm much more cushy when it comes to uh, gold um, income and all that good stuff so Keep, I'm still going through, and I've been having a ton of fun on this account. Dantillion, I have, this is like the first time ever where I have like a warrior-based team. So right now, I, and, I, and not to top it off, I have the warrior-based team, plus the Mirage with the best-looking skin uh, in the game, in my opinion. So right now, I'm going to look and see what I can do to level up my heroes. So we're going through. We got Dragon Slayer to 100, so he's now going to be he's now going to be my my main tank, and I'm gonna have him on the first 
um, the first spot. So basically what's going to happen is he's going to get hit and take a lot of damage and hopefully he's going to stack those burns, I'm pretty sure, or bleeds or whatever, stack those dots on the enemy uh, and hopefully deal a good bit of damage. So he's going to be my main tank, uh, followed by most likely probably Mirage, just because I feel he's a decently high damage dealer and all that good stuff. And then we're going to throw in, I'm pretty sure, either Norma, Dant, um, my... Uh, what is it? What is it? Dominator, and then I still rock in Fagin. Um, so hopefully, I'll, as you can see, I have three uh, five stars, all or, or excuse me, three level a hundred five stars. Um, I really have five total, and I'll be not the best. I mean, Dant, uh, Demon, or excuse me, Dragon Slayer, and Dant are kind of doing most of my damage. Uh, Mirage is doing a good bit too. So, no outstanding five stars yet, um, but we still are getting there. So, I will keep going, uh, keep pushing, and not to give anything too good away, but we're probably going to get a few more five stars today. Um, so, right now, I'm pretty much going through the campaign. We are going to be, it's going to be a pretty heavy campaign grind. Um, so, I might actually go back and and speed the campaign progress up a little bit because I'm pretty sure it's going to be like 10 minutes of campaign progress so I'm gonna do that real quick give me two seconds not only did I go through and hopefully speed this up a little bit kind of going through some of the campaign progress a little faster turning it from like a 20 some 25 minute video to around an 18 in that time also got called by the the boss and had to do some, uh, just to follow up on some things for, at work. So I got that all taken care of, all in one shot, and now we are back. So as you can see, I told you I had uh, Dragon Slayer f first, Mirage second, then we have my Norma, Dant, um, Dominator, and then um, Fagin. So right now I have, like I said, three level 105 stars. None, no amazing five stars yet. But it's kind of nice. We have uh, three warriors already. Um, so going, it makes it kind of easy to put my initial guild tech or guild coins into the warrior guild tech. So that is kind of nice and go straightforward. Um, now, heck, if I had an Asmodal or a Corpse Demon, that would be even better. Um, but still, early on, the early on in the game, it's nice to have that initial path forward. So we are making some pretty good campaign progress, and I think now at this stage, we are not um, difficulty locked, meaning it's basically my team is able to beat, um, or hopefully will be, it will be very close, I might be right at par to being locked, level, level locked, meaning I'm waiting on more experience. Uh, to progress, which is really where you, I mean, not where you want to be, but it's better to be level locked than difficulty locked, meaning even technically if you're difficulty locked, meaning your team's not good enough to to progress, that means you're really losing out on free experience per se. Um, so you, it's basically saying you have the opportunity level-wise to move forward, but based on your um, lineup and hero restrictions you are limited um so it's kind of uh it's just a bottle i guess bottleneck i just sorry i just got done work so i'm talking uh work terms um but it's just a a wall or a barrier um that you could avoid well theoretically <laughs> you could avoid but so that's why right now we are still going through and it's now we are going through and doing um, the Tower of Oblivion. So why are we doing Tower? The Tower is an amazing source, an absolutely amazing source of not only getting like a, a decent five-star hero at 105, especially early on, that's super helpful, as well as other little bit of pieces of gear here and there, and then hero promotion stones. So right now, I mean, I could be saving and waiting to get even better five-star heroes. But what I'm doing now is I just want to get a full five-star team to level 100. And then I'll focus on my main heroes. So right now, 
after Mirage, I guess we'll go focus on Dominator, and then hopefully at that point we'll also get um, some more heroes. So I already know what's coming up here. I guess Nikki got reworked, or I just didn't realize it. But watch this. I'm gonna kill basically everyone, and now these these Mickeys and their block sustain like makes me actually want to try um, Mickey. Uh, I, I don't know. I just I have. On my main account, I have two of those invisibility cloaks or whatever um, with 70% block. So it basically, I think it'd be over, unless, as long as there's not a block limit uh, or like block percentage cap, I would be over 100% block. Um, so almost every, if not every single attack would be a block healing. Um, so I actually really am pumped. I like to try uh, Mickey out and or Nikki. I always get Mickey and Nikki. I think it's Mickey, and I just saw it, but I, it went right by me. So it's Mickey or Nikki. I always get those confused, but I really need to go through and and it's see all the changes because there are. I mean, she still might not be super feasible, but I mean, heck, that it seems like that's a. I mean, compared to chi or whatever it's nowhere near as good but heck still she seems pretty decent stat wise so and functionality wise so that was just something i saw that just made me stop as you could see i went over just to look at all her skills just to see what was going on um, but right now we are getting very 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 close um, we're just barely making it through some of these battles so what we're gonna do is we're trying to get to 105, because at 105, that is when we get another five-star hero. And right now, regardless, like right here, here it is. So this is why I'm super pumped, fighting, facing an all-dark team, DAs, dark erythanols everywhere, um, with pa throwing down the mad petrify. Um, but it looks like, as you can see, I, it, it's hard to tell, but I'm pretty sure they have like super, super, super stacked dots on them. And as you can see, we got a five star and it's Bod. Um, Bod is God, um, Fear Bod. Uh, but it actually works out pretty well. He's a good single target. Well, he's a decent single target. At least he's a deep, more DPS focused tank. So if I, as long, I have a warrior, warrior tech. So I'm just replacing a warrior for another warrior. So it's kind of fitting in. Uh, I'm pretty sure he has decent armor break. And once I get him um, leveled and awakened up to level 100, I think he starts gaining uh, all that per turn or at least per attack or something of that sort, or he used to. So I'm pretty pumped. I, I now have one, two, three, four, five, five stars. Only have one... I'm pretty sure, or do I have six? I'm going so fast, let's see. Right now I'm just going through. I'm pretty sure I have five five stars. I might have miscounted. Here I'm just going buying more hero promotion stones. Just try to give me a little bit of a boost. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Um, just because I wanted those. Um, I really want that 6,000 package uh, to get another maybe really good five star for 6,000 gems. So hopefully... I can build up and we'll get enough from like the next few days. I have, I think, two or three days worth of calendar events, free gems, all that. So I'm going to be really stingy, try to get at least uh, um, 6,000 uh, gems. But as you can see, we got, we got Bod up um, and I have just have to get him one more. I think we got, yep, ran out of spirit. So... That's my squad. I actually have not too much to go, and we're gonna go warrior. Um, just like I said, upgrade guild tech. And I've done this, I've made this mistake before. Upgrade guild tech instead of buying five stars and all that. I made that mistake in the beginning, and it severely put me behind. Um, but that's just my, I mean, that's just my two cents. I've learned that lesson very well by, by doing it the wrong way and then doing it the right way, and at least for me, and correction, I have a full five-star team. I am already right now, so that was the last hero I needed. 
I think I was miscounting, I guess. So, full five-star team, mostly Warriors, uh, and I'm super pumped, super, super pumped. So, I hope you guys are enjoying episode two of the new beginning series for Idol Heroes. I'm really loving this new squad, um, and there is going to be a lot more of this to come. Also, don't forget, I am streaming Wednesday, this Wednesday, at either four, we're shooting to start at 4:30 um, to at least 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. So 4:30 p.m. to 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, and it's going to be a ton of fun. We're going to focus on doing a lot of the monthly and weekly events for my Server 15 account. So there's going to be a lot of fun to be had. I will update and post the links um, for uh, the stream. And just so you can see where to, that I will be posting those new updates. So if you're curious as when my next stream is, you miss one of my videos, you'll always have a place to go. So EM Parallax here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. There's a lot more great content to come. So remember, it's all about how you look at things. And until then, have a great week, and I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Oh.